Heather, I'm so glad that you're joining me today. I hope you're doing good today. Today we're going to be making these foil prints, these foil leaf prints. I'm going to show you how to do this um, really quickly. I'm just going to do one. If you ordered our art box, you have two in there. So I'm going to do one here and maybe you can watch and do it along with me and then you can do the other one on your own, okay? So let's get started and I also want to remind you that you have all the directions in our um, Kids Edition magazine, okay? And it looks like, I'm looking through here, it looks like it's on this page here has blue and green on it okay so you can also go through the steps in our kids edition magazine so let's get to our foil printmaking all right let me tell you what supplies you're gonna need you're gonna need one sheet of the foil so you're gonna need to get it out and unfold it and lay it out flat on the table in front of you okay if you ever need to do these things um, and they take a little long just press pause on the video and then when you're done setting up, you can push play again, okay? You'll need one sheet of foil. You'll also need your set of markers. These are just Crayola washable markers. So if you don't have our art kit, but you're doing this along with us, you can use any kind of washable marker to do this activity. You're going to need a spray bottle, and then you're going to need um, your leaf print. And what this is, is this is just a piece of photo paper that I got at home or at uh, Office Depot. It's just regular old photo paper. And then I have used a fat Sharpie marker to draw my leaf onto my, fo my photo paper. Now, this is a great um, project for you to do at any time. Like if it's Christmas time, you could take a Sharpie marker on photo paper and you could draw a Christmas tree. Or if it was Valentine's Day, you could draw some hearts. If it was maybe someone's birthday, you could write happy birthday and do the same process over and over again, okay? So don't feel like this is only something that you have to do for the fall. It could be something that you can really do all year round. Um, I just made it easy for you by drawing the leaf already onto our photo paper. But you can do so many things with this project. Okay, let's go over the steps we're going to take to do our project today. The first step is we're going to color our foil with our markers. And then the second step is we're going to spray the marker ink with our water. The third step is we're going to press down our paper and press really nice and smooth and then pull that marker ink up off onto our print. It's a really simple process and something that you can do multiple times with new pieces of photo paper. So I'm excited to introduce you to this type of printmaking. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna open up my markers and just get them out of the box and put them on the table next to me. Okay. Here we go. Sometimes they hide in the box, so make sure you get all of them out. And then I'm going to take some colors. now. I'm going to do a leaf, but I might just want to focus on some fall colors. So I'm going to pick out my fall colors of kind of like this yeah, orange peach, maybe red, yellow, green. Oops, they're rolling away. Green and brown. Yeah, brown. And then I might push these other markers over to the side. Now, this is... These are the colors I'm using. If you wanna use whatever colors you want, that's fine, okay? You don't have to do what I'm doing. I'm going to start by just taking the edge of my marker. I'm not gonna draw like the tip of it. I kind of wanna take the edge of my marker and I'm just going to gently color in this foil, okay? Now, you know, I might do I might do stripes. I did I haven't done stripes in a while. I might do stripes actually. I was just looking at my other one and my other one I kind of just did a random pattern, but I kind of like how the stripes look sometimes, so I might do that. So I did red and 
Did you notice that these markers have a scent to them? Silly scent. Oh, this one's pineapples and it does, it smells like pineapples. The yellow is pineapple. It's kind of fun. Oh, my um, foil ripped there just a little bit. You have to be real gentle. And that's completely okay. Okay, there's yellow. Now I'm going to do green. This would be fun to do if you wanted to do the rainbow. And the colors of the rainbow, do you remember them? Ro they spell Roy G. Biv. So red, orange, yellow, blue, indigo, violet. Yeah. And blue and indigo are always kind of similar. Blue, indigo, and violet. Oh, and G is the green. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. There you go. Roy G. Biff. So if you wanted to, you could do a rainbow on here. That would be kind of fun. So I did that yellow. I'm going to go in with a brown. What is brown? Brown is root beer. Oh, it kind of does smell like root beer. And notice I'm drawing with the edge of my marker. Sometimes we use the tip of our marker when we are wanting to draw something really fine. But when we want to cover large spaces, we want to use the edge of our drawing utensil, okay, our drawing medium. Um, and we always want to color in the same direction. Do you see how I'm kind of, I'm coloring in the same direction. I'm not up and down, over, over, side to side. I'm coloring in the same direction. That's really important for an artist to remember. I'm going to do some of this orange. And another thing that I remember my art teacher, I remember my art teacher, who was my, I think I was in kindergarten and first grade, my art teacher's name was Miss Wit. I remember her, Miss Wit. And she is the one who taught me to color in the same direction. I remember her telling me that very vividly. Um, and another thing about Miss Witt is she said, color in small sections. So do you see how I'm just coloring in these small sections? And I'm not coloring the whole, the whole thing. I'm just coloring in small sections, okay? So you want to color in the same direction, and then you want to color in small sections. Those are our two tips for the day. All right, I think, let me see. Yeah, I, I think I could probably add one more color here. I might, I might add some yellow on the end. I want to make sure I get all this color onto my paper. And right now, it doesn't look very colorful, does it? It's kind of um, light because of, because of the foil. I'm gonna put some red on here too, some lines. You can do whatever you want. Just, I, I wasn't planning on doing this, but I kind of feel like I want to, so there you go. Okay. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our water and we're going to spritz our foil down. And we wanna spritz it pretty good. So that was one squirt, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, you can kind of see the water starting to activate with the ink of the marker, and that's what you want. You wanna to start to see it bead up and start flowing around. If there's not enough water on it, the ink is not going to lift off the paper, okay? All right, I think we're good. Okay, now we're going to put our leaf down. We're gonna put our leaf face down. He's gonna drink up all this color. Just wait till you see the finished product. You're gonna be amazed, I know it. And I'm going to smooth it down with my fingers and try not to get that color on my um, paper, but if I do, it's okay. And then I'm going to peel it off. I'm gonna find one corner. I'm going to peel it off. Oh, 
How cool. Look at this. It looks so, so cool. Oh, I'm glad I did the stripes. I like the stripes. Let me show you the difference. So this one wasn't stripes. I just did kind of some different, um, oh, I put patches of color all over. So I want you to just, here, I'm going to lay this down so I don't get it wet or get things dirty. And I'm going to move my foil over. And I want you to notice right now, all that's wet on here is really the water. The ink has already absorbed into our photo paper. And you can see all these really cool uh, prints of where the ink and the foil were. And if you look really closely, it's, it's just almost like a photograph of that ink and the water mixing. You know look I really like the red up here this is really and look at how it's mixing the yellow and the red has kind of mixed to make this orange down here oh it's really really cool it looks really good okay that is it for our lesson today um now remember you they look so good I hope you hang these up put them on your fridge put them somewhere where you can see them and display them they are so cool um and it's just a cool, it's, we're learning about printmaking this month, okay? This is one way to make prints, where we put our ink on a surface, like we did with our foil, and then we lay our paper onto the surface and we pull the print, which means we pull that ink off the surface onto our paper, okay? Um, and in your Kids Edition magazine, too, you have learned about a really famous printmaker, They've been making prints, I mean, for years and years, guys. Um, Hakusai, right here, he's one of the most famous printmakers. He started making prints before in 1800, um, and he made several different prints of Mount Fuji. But people have been making prints for thousands of years. It's really one of the first forms of artistic expression is printmaking. So there's a whole history there, and there's lots of ways to make prints, too. You can also find that in our Kids Edition magazine, too, on this page. So lots of different ways to print make. Today we did a foil print, and I'm so glad that you were here to share this with me. Now go make the second one. Do something fun. Um, maybe use some different colors than you did last time. See if you can do a different pattern, and see, compare your two prints and see how they're different and how they're alike, okay? All right, we will see you next time right here 